LSW for a private day. We got the Sephiro. We got Raldo's 1JZ S14. We got Josue's LS S13 hatch. The whole gang's here. We're all gonna do some drifting. Super stoked to drive the Sephiro again, the K-Swap Sephiro. I love driving that car and it's been a bit. Been driving the Miata a ton, back to back to back. Finally get a chance to drive the uh, the fun street car, turbo car. Uh, I did make some changes. One, normally I only have two pairs of tires because I've been a slacker, I haven't bought spares. But I have three pairs. So one pair there, one in the trunk, one on the car. So this is probably, this is gonna be the most driving I've gotten to do in one day. Because again, I only bring two sets of tires normally. Two. I pulled the, the big wheels off, took the camber out. I still got a little bit to take out, but I took most of the camber out, realigned it, so hopefully the tires should last longer. So overall, I'm hoping to get a lot of laps in this thing today and just beat the living snot out of it. So, super excited. Like I said, it's been a bit since I've driven this thing and it is so much fun to drive. The Miata is obviously fun to drive too, but it's just a different thing. It's just, it's really, really fun to drive that car and I'm super stoked that Raldo and Josue are here as well. And they're gonna be driving. Been trying to push Josue to drive more, which is, it's fun to see him finally coming out. So yeah, moral of the story is, we're all gonna do some skids. I might get on the keyboard and try to uh, turn the boost up on the Sephiro a little bit. It's always a little lower in drift than it is street driving. There's more load in third doing a straight pull than in drift. So, you know, if it's 13 pounds on the street, it'll only be like 10 in drift. So I'm hoping to make it like 13, 14 in drift. You know what I'm saying? Just spice it up a little bit. We're gonna have some fun. Let's go drive. Starting to feel like a tuner. About to clear my log files, you know, that way we got fresh logs to look at. Let's crank this up a bit. All right, let's see how this goes. We set up what I think is a pretty decent layout.
nice thing about a private day like this, you have all the time in the world to drive. It's not like, oh, if I pull in now, I'm gonna miss the session if I have to fix something. Like, I can just go back out whenever I'm done checking it out. The car feels good, though. Almost too much grip for what I'm doing with this thing. <laughs> all right, also, something super exciting about this event is we put the Shorty Die angle kit on Raldo's car. He has always driven this car with stock angle. He finally has angle. And he is mind as mind blown as I hoped he would be. Amazing. <laughs> I haven't even got to see it. I literally totally forgot about that aspect of things. Um, on the Sephiro front, the car is ripping. Having that cam timing back, life changing. Uh, the wheels were a little loose. I felt something clunking. I pulled in to check it. They just, they came a little loose for whatever reason, but that's all sorted now. Tires are last in mint. That was three hard laps and they still look brand new. Triple five G2 Nittos are the shizniz. All right, we're going to drive some more. I'm so excited to see Raldo drive this thing with the angle. He is having a blast. Came a little loose, the hose popped off. So I'm trying to get it tightened, fill it up with coolant, and then we should be good to go back out. All right, well, in our efforts to try and tighten that hose back down, we broke the coolant temp sensor. It was like right under there. So at some point during our attempts, that broke. And basically, the car didn't want to start because it was real unhappy thinking it was at negative four degrees. So I just lied to it, told it that that voltage is uh, 190 degrees, which is about where it runs, give or take, you know, down to 180, up to 200, 210. So we won't know our coolant temp, but it's pretty easy to tell with oil pressure. Like once the oil pressure starts dipping into the low 20s at idle, then I know it's hot, like 210 or so. Obviously not ideal, but the car has been fine, hasn't had any overheating issues. I got three sets of tires, I haven't even burned through the first set.
All right, well, the hose popped out again. Tires are about done. They've been troopers, uh, but I'll let it cool down and go watch Raw. I haven't got to watch him drive at all with the new angle kit, so I to make sure we see this. Again, I think basically it's just that hose is a little big for that barb that, that's in the back of the head and it just really had to tighten the hose clamp. So hopefully it stays on this time. Gotta get some laps in before it gets dark. Got two more sets of tires to go through. I mean, it's a good thing these G2s are lasting forever.
All right, well, we're all loaded up, ready to head home. I guess it's a good thing I actually brought the car on the open trailer this time. I was gonna drive it, but I wanted to bring a bunch of wheels, so I towed it and uh, worked out well since it broke. But overall, really good time. Definitely bummed the car kept spitting that heater hose. Uh, that was frustrating, but I just need to replace that hose. The hose is just a little too big. When you be tightening the clamp, it will like squeeze it off the bar in the back there. It's just, it's difficult to get to. Uh, and replace that coolant temp sensor. But I still had a blast. I went through two full sets of tires. They lasted forever. The car was ripping so hard now that the cam timing is working again. I can't believe it wasn't working that whole other event. Oh, I wish I would have known, man. We could have piled four people in here. No problem. The car felt amazing. Raldo had a blast with the new angle kit. I was way had fun, I think. <laughs> we all had a good time. We're all at home. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, and here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.